Welcome back. So now it's time to work on the logic behind sending a message to the chatbot. So here in this in this event, instead of getting just the message, what we want to do is that we want to check whether the user has typed a message or not. Because if I say here, if I display, if I type nothing, and if I click on send, it's gonna work. And we don't want that. Instead, we want first to say here if. And then we want to check the text. Let me change this from text to user. I'm going to say user message. So user message is going to be equal to text box dot, dot value. So if the user message, if user message is equal, user message is equal to nothing, then we need to tell the user, we need to say here alert. And then we need to tell the user, please, please type a message and uh, else 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 we can get that message and we have that message and we can use it and to use that message first I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna access that message one more time and then I'm gonna call a function called trim and this function is just going to remove any white space because the user might leave some white space here and we don't want the white space so I'm going to remove that, and then I'm going to store it in a uh, in a new variable called user message user uh, uh, user message. Let's say user message refined, or just user user uh, message text, just to distinguish between this and this user message and finally I'm gonna store this user message message text in an object because I'm gonna be using it later so I'm gonna create here a variable called user and it's gonna be an object it's just gonna be an object and I'm gonna say here I'm gonna say user dot user dot message the, the user is message user message is gonna be equal to user message text and uh, I'm gonna here create to be nothing. It's just gonna be nothing. And finally, I'm gonna remove the text from this input. Whenever the user clicks, for example, if I t say here hi, and then if I click on send, there is no need to keep the, this message here anymore. So we can here say text box, text box dot value, and then is equal to nothing because we want to remove the value from that from that text box. Let me now save and let's head on over to the browser to test. So now in the browser, let me first refresh. And now if I click, if I say here, hi, and if I click on send, here, as you can see, the message will be sent. And of course, it's not gonna be displayed here because I didn't work on that for now. But if I click on send without typing anything, this message is gonna be displayed. It's gonna say here, please type in a message. So the user must type a message before we get that message from the user.